Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So in this video, what we're gonna be talking about is network certifications or entry-level IT certifications. I was getting a lot of questions because of the interview I did with Mai on how to become a network engineer in 2023. And I was getting a lot of requests and a lot of messages, oops, sorry, like a lot of messages saying, you know, what IT certifications, not even cyber, this has nothing to do with cybersecurity. So if you're looking for cybersecurity certifications, this is not the video. I'm going to be talking about some of the entry level certifications that I think you should get and my opinions on them. And if I do have them, I will convey that. So if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. And if you guys are returning, you know, let's have some fun. So I want to jump on my desktop and I want to go through some of these certifications, give my recommendation, give my feedback and my comments on them. And if you have any comments, just let me know and we'll, you know, we'll discuss it. So let's jump onto the desktop and go from there. All right, so here we are. So now we're on our desktop here. So I just Googled it, you know, and I guess I'm just making this video just to let you guys know what my feedback is on these certifications, right? So this is the top 15 best entry-level IT certifications to launch your career. And so it's pretty much IT and network engineering because I was getting some of those. So, and I'll go over which ones I have because I was getting a lot of questions on what certifications do I have. I'm not gonna go through my whole list because I don't want this to be about me. I don't really like to talk about me too much. So I just like to just help other people. It's not about me, it's about you guys. So I'll go which certifications I have from, from networking, right? So starting my career, I have my Network Plus. I have my A plus, so that's pretty much sort of like hardware, software slash networking. Uh, I have a CCNA, CCNA wireless, CCNA security, CCNA collaboration, and CCDA, CCDP, CCN, CCNP security, CCNP route switch, uh, PCNSE. PCNSA from Palo Alto, the so Palo Alto Certified Security Administrator and Engineer. And, you know, obviously the, I said the A plus, right? I don't even remember. Um, then I have some Amazon certifications, AWS certs, and then all the, like the MCSE, MCITPs from Microsoft, uh, the Azure certifications. So that's pretty much it. Like from, from what I can think of networking and, and, and and some of the IT certification. I have more, but doesn't, like I said, this is not about me. So let's go down this list here. Let's uh, to jump start your career. I never took any Apple certifications, so I can't speak. Let me see if it's gonna show. Okay, so it's gonna go down here. So the Apple certification here. I have no clue. I can't speak on the Apple, but if you wanna go work for, what is it, the Genius Bar? I think that's what Apple, like Geek Squad is like in Best Buy, at least here in the US. And uh, so the next one here is the AWS. This is the one I have, AWS Certified uh, Cloud Practitioner. And then I have Solutions Architect, I think. So these one is, this one is definitely a good one for an entry level to understand the cloud computing, understand cloud. Uh, certified Scrum Master. I don't know if this is an entry level cert. This is like, you know, if you want to learn project management and I guess like via yeah, like agile development framework. I don't know anything about this world. So I never took this. I'm not interested. The next one CCNA. I do have my CCNA, but I took it back when you had the CCENT and then the CCND, uh, CCNA. So the ICND1, ICND2. So now it's only one exam and you get your CCNA. This one I would definitely recommend if you want to get into entry level networking. So, yeah, this one is a good one. I never took this one. I don't know too much about the certified, a Cisco certified technician. I, I would think if you guys know if I'm wrong, correct me if I'm wrong. I maybe this is probably something new that maybe if you don't have the skill set yet for CCNA. This would be like the equivalent from the old CCENT, but now it's just CCT. 
I don't know. This is pretty much my guess, right? So I guess there's different ones. There's routing switching, there's data center. So yeah, I would recommend that, you know, if you're brand new to Cisco. So next one is A+. I want to give you a little insight about the A+, in my opinion. Uh, I think you should get it if you're an entry-level folks. This is probably one of my hardest exams I've ever taken. Because why? Even though I was good at desktop support, I was good at networking, I was good at like reformatting your machine. Because when I got my A+, I was in like support, support desk for gateway computers. So I was doing like uh, technical support for gateway. And, you know, our thing was format and reload most of the time. Save your data and reload your computer. That was my, that was my tickets all the time. So it was hard for me because I didn't really understand the components within the computer. I was never really nerdy like that, like build my own machine. Yeah, I did build this machine that we're talking on. But uh, back in the day, I wasn't really into that. I would just buy a computer or buy a laptop and uh, call it a day. And I guess this is like $232. You know, I don't know. Like if you just go to their website, you could probably know the price. This is what it says here. And I know the A plus is uh, two exam. So the CompTIA IT fundamentals, I'm guessing this is gonna be a good one if you're brand brand spanking new to the field. So you can check this one out. I don't have any feedback on this because I've never taken it. Network plus, and my neck hurts. But um, I think network plus, network plus is definitely something critical for an entry level person. And this is what we we're talking about on the network and how to become a network engineer in 2023 live stream. I think network plus will fill in some gaps. Like I said, like I have a friend that has a CCNP and I think even took before like the CCIE written. Now it's like just CCNP is like your equivalent to your CCIE written at least. So, and then like the story was like he was at a patch panel or something got out of whack. I don't know, like the cleaning lady was there and she was trying to like get out of spider web and she, I don't know, she broke a cable. And so you just had to strip it down and re repatch it, right? And he didn't know how to do that, right? He didn't know the color combinations like white, blue, white, orange, wait, wow, G, white, orange, orange, white, green, blue, blue, white, green, brown, white, brown, right? So, and yeah. So whatever, I think having this certification is helpful. That's my, that's my recommendation. Security Plus as well. Um, I think having A Plus, Network Plus, Security Plus is pretty much the trifecta of, of the CompTIA and, and uh, certifications. <clears throat> this will give you the fundamentals of you know, cybersecurity and some security, um, some security uh, topics. <clears throat> so it's like $350. ITIL, I took my ITIL certification. I have the ITIL 4 certification as well. I think this is super, super, I did the 3 and 4. But uh, I think this is super, super, super handy to have this certification, especially if you're in service desk, understand the IT service management, the ITIL, you know, life cycle, and all that stuff. Like if you're doing help desk and you're working in a service desk, this is, this is good stuff. Linux essentials, like I never took this, but I did take like my Linux plus. And when I took my Linux plus, we got like, I don't know if they do it like this anymore, but I got like three certifications in one, like SUSE administrator. And then I got like LPIC one and then Linux plus. So when I took my Linux plus, I got a little lucky. I don't know if they do that anymore. So keep going down the Microsoft 365, the fundamentals. This is definitely, definitely something critical because a lot of companies, if not probably 95% of the companies out there, are probably using 365, right? Uh, at least every company I worked for, we use Office 365. So yeah, definitely having those fundamentals of Exchange and SharePoint and Teams and et cetera, like it's definitely gonna you know, uh, make you stand out, right? So that's only $100. Uh, the Microsoft Technology Associate, I never really took any of these certifications. I did like the MCTS, Microsoft, is it Microsoft Certified Technology Specialist? But this was, you know, back in the day when the MCITP was hot. So, so I can't really speak on that one. PMI, I don't know anything about like PMP, project management. 
I didn't take any of these certifications. So let's skip that for now. SSCP, mine's up there. Uh, this is definitely something awesome. It's from ISC Square. This is, this is a good certification to have uh, if you want to be more technical, right? That CISSP is you know, definitely more managerial, but uh, SSCP is definitely something you can get if you're interested in uh, you know, practitioner work, right? So is that it? That was pretty much it. So that is that. Let's see if like, for an example, these are just, let's go for networking. And let's go, I just Googled some. So let's just, for example, let's click here. I'm just gonna go through this really quick, see what my CCIE, right? So CCIE is definitely a hard one to get. And that's like your, and you know, your expert level of Cisco, right? So if you get through everything else and you wanna continue, that's not an entry level. So Network Plus we went over, Security Plus we went over, CCNA we went over, so uh, AWS we went over, uh, Azure we went over, CCMP, that's pretty much the next, you know, that's maybe intermediate level certification. So you, you know, learn about the Cisco technology at that next level, the professional level. And A plus we went over, my favorite. Uh, Google Associate Clouds, so like you learn about the Google platform, Google console, and uh, the Junos. So this is another one if you want to get into Juno, uh, Juniper. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what I would recommend. Uh, starting out in your career in IT, like I said, you know, every person has their own avenue. And uh, let's go back to my face. Yeah, so everyone has their own avenue into IT. So whatever your friend did, whatever my friend did, or whatever I did, do what's best for you, right? Don't look at the next person and say, oh, this person did X, Y, Z, I need to do X, Y, Z. No, do one, two, three, because maybe this will work better for you. So this video is pretty much just to let you know what you can expect, right? Certifications you should look out for, being an entry-level folks. You know, understand those technologies that you want to get into. So you do your A+, plus, Network+, plus, Security+, plus. that'll give you some well-rounded information. You could do your cloud plus if you're interested in cloud and maybe transition into something, right? Maybe networking, maybe cloud, maybe cybersecurity, maybe development, whatever you want to do, but having these fundamentals is key. So hopefully you found this video informative. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And until next time, have an awesome day. Thank you guys.